Hi, Matt here from Twinkle. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use a reading comprehension all about a very well-known and loved story. When you download this resource from the Twinkle website, you will notice that it is differentiated three ways. One star is the easiest, two stars is harder, and three stars is more challenging still. At each challenge level, there is the text with some lovely illustrations, a set of questions, and of course, a handy answer sheet. This is great if you use self or peer marking in your class. And of course, it just makes your life a lot easier when marking a whole class set of reading comprehensions. The questions themselves come in a variety of styles, including short answer questions and multiple choice. Once you have chosen the correct challenge level for your pupils, a good way to start is to read the text together and pick out any keywords that they don't understand. You can then put these keywords into a glossary and then work together to find out the meaning of them. As an extra challenge, why not get your pupils to put each of these words into a sentence? Discuss the contents by asking simple questions about the characters, their actions and the setting. Make predictions about what happened before the story and what could happen after it. And then consider the problem of the story, how the characters solved it and what happens at the end. Ensure that your child reads the question properly. Even the simplest question can trip a child up if they don't read it correctly. For example, if the question asks your child to tick two boxes and they only tick one, they won't get full marks. Another good way to use this resource is to cut out the sections of text and jumble them up. Then get your pupils to try and put them into the correct order. And you could even get your pupils to show their understanding of the structure of the story by creating a simple story map. You could also use this resource to help develop your pupils' presentation skills. Perhaps they could retell the story to the class, or substitute in different characters or settings using their own ideas. There are also many other great resources on the Twinkle website to support your teaching of the hare and the tortoise, including this handy PowerPoint presentation and these great story sequencing cards. I hope you found this video useful. See you next time.